Hellcat. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Kalana Gonzalez. And I'm Brittany Ellis. And now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thought I should give it to you solo this time. I know. I was like, where was your voice at? I also kind of froze. Anyway, <laughs> you know. Okay, um, starting off with the field trip opportunities from the Prestige Program will be taking place a zero gravity car tournament at the Moreno Valley Mall on Saturday. At the mall? Just at going the mall. Going. More about Prestige Program. Clubs going on Wednesday is Music Club, and Study Hall, and Gamers Club. Thursday is Battle of Cards and Study Hall. And then Friday is a Love Vibes Party. Chocolate Cover Strawberries and Prizes R150. We have a lot of drivers on campus, so I think this should be something you want to know. We're going to have a driver safety day this weekend in the Legacy Lounge, room R150, on Saturday at 9 a.m. So come, why not? Yeah, safety matters. What yes. also matters is Plato. Thursdays and Tuesdays after school, room W106. If you're a student participating in Plato, make sure to attend because you get two hours of help after school. Ooh, that's cool. Also, seniors, don't forget that your FAFSA is due March 2nd, so get it in. Two days after that is a Smash Bros. tournament. You guys can perform a Wombo Combo with Mario, Link, and all the other guys from Nintendo in room R150. For permission slips and more info, you guys have been fighting against Takaway, so go get them. Don't forget to my A-plus students to get it done. You can get it done Tuesdays and Thursdays in room W106. You must take all your midterms and finals with a teacher present. So, yeah. All right, guys, there are four things going on today. It is Friday, which is a good thing. It is Morp after school, which is going to be fun. Are you going? Uh, maybe. I might go. Uh, end of Black History Month and ironically Whiteout Day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the news. Let's do the quote of the day. Fine. Lastly, <laughs> which will be, faith is the first step even when you don't see a full staircase by Martin Luther King. Now that's the end for today. I'm Brittany. I'm Kalani Gonzalez. And we'll see you next time. Yep. Hi guys, it's Lou Lohman. Tyler here giving you your Heritage Student Sports News Update. Well, first off, we got the boys JV Tennis is away at Mira Mesa at 315. So if you want to go and show up, show some support. But home on Friday, well today, uh, the boys Varsity Tennis is playing Mira Mesa. Go show up. It's at 315 right after school. So if you get a ride home, tell them to show up late and watch the boys tennis team play. Saturday, we have a girls freshman softball meet. The location is to be announced, so please ask your fellow softball girls where they're going to be at for the Hemet Freshman Tournament, which is at 12 a.m. We also have the girls' varsity softball at Ayala Rubin High School, and that'll be at 4 p.m. And we also have girls' varsity softball meet at Stupender, which is in Corona, so head out to those tournaments and support. Lastly, our boys' varsity baseball team will, play, will be playing Woodcrest Christian on Monday at 3.15, right after school. So go show up, show your support, watch them hit home runs like usual. Well, that's it for our sports segment of the news. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyler. And I'm Luan. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, Heritage High School Patriots. This is Mr. Arce, your proud school principal, with a very special announcement for our seniors. So attention, class of 2016. As you know, we are in the middle of a national challenge called the Race to Submit. Race to Submit is about filling out your FAFSA, the free application for financial student aid, and submitting it by March 2nd. Last year, we were very close to being number one in the county, and this year, we want to reach that goal. Whether you feel you would qualify for financial aid or not, whether you're even sure you plan on attending college, it's important to fill out that application. Our goal is to have 85% of seniors apply. As an incentive for your role in participating and submitting the FAFSA, we will have a FAFSA Fiesta on March 8th, a free party for all that submit. On top of that, my personal challenge to you is to submit your application and help us be number one 
And if we make this goal in a gesture of my appreciation for your support with this, I vow to show my heritage pride by dyeing my hair red, white, and blue. Can you imagine me walking around campus with tricolor hair? Something like this. So seniors, if we meet our goal, I will dye my hair. Whatever it takes to reach our goal, 85% of seniors submitting. So work hard and submit your FAFSA. Thank you. Hello Heritage, today I'll be talking about Black History Month, or more specifically, the founder of Black History Month. His name was Dr. Carter G. Woodson, and he started Negro History Week in 1926. He chose this week because it was between Abraham Lincoln's and Frederick Douglass's birthday. In 1976, it evolved into Black History Month. He was best known for writing contributions to black Americans into the national spotlight. He also received his PhD in Harvard University. That's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Black History Month facts.